Welcome back to John's Films. We all want to go buy the fastest graphics card on the planet. Unfortunately, you'd be wasting your money. You should buy DaVinci Resolve Studio, and I'll show you why. Before we jump to the results, let's look at what I tested, because this is important. It's a DaVinci Resolve free timeline, meaning it does not use any of the effects that exist in DaVinci Resolve Studio. It does, however, have ungraded footage, graded footage, all in 4K, dynamic zoom, blurs provided through Gaussian blur. Uh, further, there's a radial blur coming up, as well as some 3D titles. My intention was to change it up on the renderer to make it think pretty hard, and then see what the difference turned out to be in DaVinci Resolve and DaVinci Resolve Studio. Let's jump into the results. Here in the benchmarks, you can see that the 1070 improved from the Studio to the free version by a pretty significant amount. In fact, if you look over at the 1080 Ti, again running native mode, hey, wait a minute, the 1070 Ti and the 1080 Ti took the same amount of time in the free version. I see only a slight improvement here in the studio version. Of course, being no NVIDIA encoder, in the free version you can only see the time. However, there's not much difference between the 1070 and the 2080. There's a chance that the smaller benchmark that I ran isn't deep enough to be able to exacerbate any issues that might exist between the two graphics cards. But when you're looking at a broad swipe, considering this is the average of three runs, start to wonder if graphics card is entirely worth it because what I'm seeing is just like I saw in 15 the free version works the hardware harder and takes longer meaning it has less efficient codecs than the studio version here which has less use in the CPU more use in the GPU meaning the studio version leverages your graphics card better however the difference that we saw between a 1080 or a 1070 and a 2080 was negligible when you really got down to the results 10 seconds in the studio version based on some of the acceleration in the graphics. But when you got to the NVENC encoder, really saw no difference. The only difference I really see is the difference in price. $300 right now for a 1070, $1,100 for a 2080 Ti. Now only you can decide if Now only you can decide if this is worth it to you. But for my money, the 299 that you spend on a DaVinci Resolve Studio license seems to be a lot cheaper than the graphics card upgrade or any real potential benefit you might get out of even the intermediary graphics cards, the $600, 2060s, 2070s. I just don't see the value there. If you'd like to see more testing like this, subscribe if this inspires you to provide DaVinci Resolve Studio, there's a link, uh, affiliate link there in the bottom. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Now only you can decide if this is worth it to you, but for my money, the $299 that you spend on a DaVinci Resolve Studio license seems to be a lot cheaper than the graphics card upgrade or any real potential benefit you might get out of even the intermediary graphics cards, the $600, 2060s, 2070s. I just don't see the value there. If you'd like to see more testing like this, subscribe. If this inspires you to provide DaVinci Resolve Studio, there's a link, uh, affiliate link there in the bottom. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.